Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Bluffers to Buffers. I'm Bob. And I'm Ben. And um been doing a bit, Bobby. What have you been doing? Some stuff. Um, I like it you do stuff. Yeah, so in this episode, we're gonna do a bit about point motors and a bit about platforms, as denoted by the text that you can see on the screen now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The text I'm going to put on the screen. Yeah, because there's nothing there. Yeah, I know. But viewers didn't know that, well, did okay, they? Okay, sorry. Anyway, let's go straight in. So, Cobalt. I use DCC Concepts Cobalt uh, digital point motors. These are quite clever little boxes, boxes of tricks. Um, 20 quid a, a box? It depends <laughs> what box you're talking about. <laughs> They're not the cheapest. Uh, <laughs> They're not the cheapest, but yeah, they are about 20 quid. <clears throat> per thing but anyway so you buy 12 you get them in this lovely little box that bag of stuff there on the right of the screen is all the bits you need to fit it that sticker would come off look um that's posh isn't it but these are these are literally plug and play um because it's all digital as you'll see in a bit you just fit them to the board give them an address and you're away they'd start working it's that that that's that, that simple uh, so getting them ready to go on the board you've got your little bag of tricks there that's your your um pin there's the fulcrum the little blue thing so that adjusts the amount it you know uh, the angle of the dangle so it's like a digital servo yeah basically okay. um so rather than just you know you can switch them with a switch sort of thing that's what that sticker covers but you can also give them a, a digital address like you do the locos yeah and um it so does how it have you done this like digitally <laughs> what I'm asking how you did it. As oh, in... hang on. Pot watch. Just wanted to Pot go watch? through it. We've got some good pots recently, and I thought Bob might like to see what oh. pots, pots we've got. I've been having a lot of curries. Yeah, and... I know what these are for. These are mango chutneys. Yes, and also there's some slightly different size ones. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <what we're... laughs> see, that, that, that's from the barbecue place. Them big ones are from the curry house. Yeah. Your mango chutney, your, your lime pickle. You They're good lime pots, pickle, didn't you? They're yeah. good pots. I do have lime pickle, yeah. Um, yeah, very, very good size pot. Um, yes. I hear you've recently changed your Indian. Yes, that, but they, this one does the bigger pots, so it's all good. This is, that here is your uh, profiterole pudding from Waitrose, and this funny little shaped one is your tiramisu. Oh, the are available, <laughs> obviously. And, uh, there's, Whoa. I figured that might be useful for something, storing flock or something it's like that. You can't, bean you juice can't get there. rid of the bean juice. <laughs> but anyway, the handy pots. You know I'm a man of pots. You love pots. Yeah. So anyway. Hey, I was asking you about the quickly, just yeah. about the address. Have you done this like point one, point two, point three, now, or have you been? Are you call them Dave and Lucy or well, something like that. Well, you don't have the option to call them Dave and Lucy. It is numbers. It is unless numbers. you, somewhere between one and two hundred and fifty, can make some sort of code where one hundred and seventy-two uh, means Steve. Eight double oh eight. You can't do you can't do that, no. No, no. that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, my first board was numbered one to ten. Right. Uh, the yard, you know, the the yard. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then I went on from there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But then, in doing this new layout, I'm going to number all the point motors on the t upper level. In the probably in the hundreds range and in the lower level in the tens range, something like that. Right, that but, makes sense, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I had uh, 12 that I fitted to the last layout and moved them across to this new one, and they all forgot their addresses, which is a pain in the arse. But I spoke to the guys at DCC Concepts who were really helpful and said there was a, there was a problem with one of the batches just to send them back, and, and they'll um, sort it out for me anyway. I digress. What what we've neglected to explain to the viewers is that I've installed the pin there. Yeah, we saw that. And what we've got here is a bracket which converts it through 90 degrees because I'm using shallower timbers than the depth of that point motor. Ordinarily, it would, uh, right. yeah, it would yeah, mount with that so point up to the hole, but instead yeah. we want to mount it on its side. A linkage, some may say. Yeah, which actually is, sounds silly, but it's actually easier to install them this way. Um, I don't know why. It just is. Now these fiddly little screws there, they literally just uh, two two screws and that secures to the, um, the point motor. Almost, little, almost like a nut and bolt. Yeah. It's exactly this this almost, is Meccano spec, isn't it? It is. It's nice, nice to make something. Yeah. 
and you get these sticky pads you can see that square white thing so if you were sticking it up right stick it on with a sticky pad but that's kind of a they're very sticky so there's no fine tuning of the position you want it in right gotcha um <clears throat> and when you if like i've had to take them off two or three times now they're getting the sticky pad off of the point motor is a right pain in the bottom so I'll be sending them to back to DCC contact sets with all the sticky point pads still on them because <laughs> it hurts my fingernails trying to pull them off. <laughs> the instructions say don't cut that with side cutters or anything, cut it with a cutty disc wheel, but... I suppose that's to stop bending it. I, well, fair. yeah, and I didn't read the instructions and, you know... So don't do that at home, kids. Yeah, Use don't a do cutty that disc. Use a cutty disc. But it, it hasn't bent it. They're no. good, good old, good quality side cutters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. So I did this. I'm just doing the three under the, that board that we've been working on with the station, the lower platforms. Um, as you can see, there's the ones on there. I'm going to have to replace those with the three we've just assembled. Um, and this is just a little demonstration, Bobby, to show you how easy it really is to fit these bad boys. Um, there's the numbers there, the addresses I've given. Oh, yeah. Now, these screws, <laughs> I have got, being in the motor trade, a fine selection of screwdrivers. Of all my 10,000 different screwdrivers I've got, not one of them actually fit these screws properly. Really? Yeah, they're a nightmare. Um, ah, now, you, because I know you bought one, that little worth kit with all the million different Yeah, heads. I'll give it a go. They're, they're very good. Yeah. But handily, because we've already installed the point motors there, look, I can just loosen, I can remove one screw, loosen two, and then it's just a case of wallet, we're back so in. they're little sliders, yeah, nice. Um, Isn't it annoying when the head doesn't go in properly? Well, we, yeah. These, you round off the screws yeah. or get annoyed. What I've learned with these is pilot hole, because they're not self-tapping. So if you're underneath the baseboard trying to A, force the screw in, B, with a screwdriver that doesn't quite fit it, so it falls off and ping, across the room. <laughs> Many a swear word dished. Never to be to do found them. again. Yeah. But anyway, we've, we've worked it out over time. So connecting power to them really is as simple as two droppers from your bus, your main power thing, which is your red and your black. They so just you, clip in? You literally just pop it in. Oh, smart. Just make sure it's in nicely. Um, yeah, just your red and your black. And then, if you remember, we've spoken many times and you get that glazed look in your eyes when we talk about electro frog points. <laughs> Jeez, I still don't know what they do. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got that V bit in no, the middle. No, I do. needs to yeah, change yeah, polarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this green wire here is yeah. connected at the other end to that frog in the point. Yeah. And you connect it into the point motor, so the point motor changes that polarity for you. Right. So when it's going one way, it knows that it needs to be red. It's clever, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, it's pretty much idiot proof. Yeah. The problem comes when you've got this layout, I counted earlier on, it's going to need 60 of these. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. And um, when you've got slip, double slip crossings going into um, three way things and it all gets a bit complicated so if you've got one point set the wrong way and the loco's coming at it which is easily done because i haven't got a mimic panel or anything yet which is your lights telling you what yeah uh it's it all trips out but luckily we've got the protection thing the, on there but it's still a bit of a nightmare so i'm gonna have to work that out sooner rather than later because with 60 points to control it's yeah. gonna end up fairly stressful yeah um but as a as a product, really, really. Are you wearing a Christmas jumper? It's a Christmas T-shirt, Bob. Are you wearing a Christmas T-shirt? Yes, yes, I am. I hasten to add that this video was filmed in November. Yes, it was. Yes, have but a word. you need to have a word with yourself. But don't butt me. This is an important Go on, but. Then. I was wearing jeans. <laughs> 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 and I'd sort of done my hair. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't done my hair at all. Look at it, what a mess. Um, so You're letting yourself be seen on the internet there. Well, who's to say that really was me? Might, this all might be some sort of... Who was that? It's the gardener. Is it? <laughs> Get him in to do more railway as is well. Is this your butter that's actually making the model railway? Yeah, it's points. jives. <laughs> <laughs> jives, throw three points on yeah. that. <laughs> on the old, uh, on the board there. 
as you can see, it was a particular pain in the bum that it happened on this board because there's no axis underneath because it's sitting on that kitchen worktop. Oh, was it? Yeah. Directly onto the top? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Just because that's there and on, you know, storage and that underneath. So, luckily enough, the way I have put it together so far, it's not the end of the world to dismantle the tracks and do this. It's just, you know... It would be is, if you had all scenery on it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, an hour of my weekend that I didn't really have to spare. Um, that I'd spend doing it, and not to mention the other point motors on the rest of the board that I had to take up. But, you know, to be fair to DCC Concept, they could have wiped their hands of it, but they didn't, so it was a couple of years ago I bought them. So, so anyway, this is, this is how easy it is to give the point decoder address. You flick the switch on the side, you go to your um, handset, you type in the number you want the accessory to have, bosh, one or two means is which you know which position is the point going to be in. Press enter. Nip back over to the point motor. Flick the switch down. I know that says two hundred one, and I've just put two hundred in. That is a continuity error that I couldn't foresee at this time. <coughs> and then you test to make sure it works. Ready? Look at that. Uh, it's not working. There we go. Ah, look all that nice long smooth yeah, action. Ready and. The tension is palpable. Isn't oh, it? there it goes. Oh, beautiful. Nice and slow action on those as well. It's not just a. It's like poetry in motion. I bet you sat there all day playing with your points. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, like I said, I was well behind. I had loads to try and get done. Uh, and again, there's the side cutters that you're not supposed to use. I'll tell you what, though, when you do go. Bing! You have to that close your eyes. I was going to yeah. say. And you also have to pick safety. it up, because if it's landing on the track, that could be a short that you didn't know you were going to have. Oh, right. you spotted exactly where that landed then, did you? <coughs> yeah, it stood right in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's pretty much installing point motors. Oh, excellent. So now, i um, going to move on to... I started making some platforms, and this is how I did it. Excellent. And the crowd went mild. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, what I did was change Good my method. Technique. Thanks, mate. I learned from the best. Um, <laughs> what? I changed my method of making platforms halfway through this because right. if you're making a cardboard platform, platform, this is the method you'd use. You use. You get a bit of paper in your gap. Yeah. And you'd um, get your carriage there. Get are they yourself, test carriages? Yes, they are the test train that we. <laughs> Get a pencil and and run it along, both in the middle of the carriage and at the end, and you know that that's where the swing of the carriage is going to be. That's so, a clever idea. Yeah. So if you clever. if you're making a platform out of cardboard, you know that pencil line is bang not, on. You're not going to get any interference. Well, but you wish, from, bet you wish yeah, you hadn't a terrible cut that bit around. of cut in there. But as it transpired, it didn't matter. But if you were um, Make, yeah, you know that that carriage is not good. Because I've made platforms for the... St whoa, whoa, whoa. Stillborn station at the top. Um, and it, it, it didn't matter what I did, they caught somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it. I remember. Yeah, so... But, as I said, I kind of changed my method halfway through this, and you'll see in a minute. It's This is the whole point of it, Bob, isn't it? It's an evolving thing. Every day is a school day. Every day is a school day. It is. Especially if you're at school. Imagine if you were at school. It'd be good, wouldn't it? I don't think I not, would have not... as many twenty pounds to spend <laughs> as I would all that way. I hate I like to add that I'm glad you've changed your Christmas top now. Well this is I've gone back in time now, so this is before the Christmas top. Good. If you hadn't have mentioned it, no one would have known. Well I feel that like, oh, don't take that away from our viewers. I think they would have been like, why is he wearing a Christmas top? Well, right. well that'd be what But then it'd be December. okay because yeah. it'd be December. Yeah, they would never have known. This... Anyway. Oh, I know. Anyway, so these are Pico uh, platform edgings, the concrete uh, Are they style. made of plastic or wood? Plastic. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. But they're to, they're, they're to look like the concrete ones you see at, you know, at, at stations. And it was about this point where I decided to change my tack because on the platform that's where that blue pencil is, what I did was use the paper underneath as a template for the, the surface for actually um, 
it didn't really with because there's a couple of different curves in this one it didn't quite work out that way so I, I kind of put these in place based on that paper bit of paper there so I kind of know roughly where it's got to be um, securing them in place just using track pins as you know, as you used to put the track in mm. good product that only because you just basically make yeah, it's, 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 you want, yeah you've got to file there's like casting bits on the end so if you don't file them off it doesn't clip together very well but right. it's quite flexible um, the finished article there's a bit on it that annoys me now I've seen it since finishing it but it is what it is the upper platforms all 7,000 of them thanks Steve <laughs> <laughs> said you wanted a platform yeah I know <laughs> I, you know I, yeah um, I'm only joking. You can't get it. You can't get it anywhere at the moment. Typically, this is all stuff I had in stock, but because of COVID and whatever, it, everyone's panic bought plastic platform edging along with track and all. <laughs> you just can't get it. <laughs> I ordered some bits from one of the shops, and I thought, well, I can't just order three packs of that concrete edging. So I ordered some um, frog juicers, which is a thing we'll go into another day. Wow. They sent the frog juicers, but not the platform engine. It's the only reason I placed the order. <laughs> but it's not in stock anywhere. And the same with Hornby TTS decoders. For anything I want to buy a sound chip for, a Hornby one, a cheaper one, can't get it. But it's not forever, is it? Well, I expect Don't a, need a lot it. more people are going to be at home at the moment, so yeah. they may as well utilise their... Yeah, but it doesn't help me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. There we go. But then they may be watching this video. <laughs> yeah. No, that's right. Um, so, yeah, it's just a bit of a nightmare getting hold of some stuff. But it's not going to be forever. And I had enough to do this section. I think I had to nick a couple of, recycle a couple of bits for what goes underneath the, the cover there. But it was enough to get this done. I'm torn as to how I'm going to finish in terms of paint the... Because you'll see in a bit I've primed it. So it's grey. Maybe I should have left it that colour or or not, I don't know. But because concrete isn't actually grey, is it? When you no. see it, it's not yeah, some never grey, is it? Some of it's almost sort of pinky purple colour, yeah. isn't it? And all sorts. It's gonna be dirty and grimy, isn't it, being on the side? Whatever, yeah. The kind of the vibe we're going for with this lower level station is that it's you know, it's it's not cared for. There's no, you know, they don't really want people to stop there. So you've just got a couple of, like, bus shelter type sheltery bits, a bench maybe, if you're lucky. The main the main station is going to be up up the top. Right. Sort of thing. So this would be the sort of station where you go and buy your 5p um, ticket and hope you didn't get stopped between <laughs> stations, you know. That's what you're to say. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a ticket. So, obviously, that's... The edging pinned in place, so you got to have a little little play just yeah, to make smart. sure it's um, make sure your your bits clear it. So good excuse to get the old. What have we got here? This is a black five running a test train. Bit of speed there. That went through all right, didn't it? Yeah, nice. And uh, I think there's a couple to try. But anyway, you obviously you don't want to commit to making something if like I have done historically, it's going to catch because it will A, be annoying, B, be annoying, C, be annoying. I get the, the vibe, it could be annoying. Yeah. Um, Another one coming through here, look. Yeah. Is it an EMU or a DMU? DMU, as denoted by the diesel sound that we can't hear, but you will be able to hear when you find oh, right. it. That means burning up. It does, it? yeah. Oh, you can hear a little bit. Nice. We're now sitting here watching trains again, not really discussing anything. Well, you, this is part of it. This is it? the test run. So, <clears throat> here we go. Just check your clearances. Oh. I would like it a lot tighter in terms of like when it's stopped, but with a curve, it's near on impossible because, because of the carriages as they run round. You're always going to get that Surely gap. Surely they so. just have to mine the gap. Yes. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> so there's the bit I made earlier. Look, that so is just a bit plastic card. Plastic card, yep. Um, nice. point, point 0.5 mil thick, and it's so it's thinner. See the gap between those bits that I'm putting glue on, yeah, and the, the coping stones. There's still a bit of space there, so <clears> a bit <throat> of gap, and there's a good reason for that. But that sits in there. <clears throat> How did you find cutting the plastic card to the 
the, the contour. So what I did, I'll show you again in a minute. Oh. I used my paper in a different fashion. Watch. Get the paper on there. Fingers, as we've worked out, it's all about the technique. Uh, it marks it out on the paper and um, then use that as your template. Wallop is in. Now, I've missed, I missed a video, so now I'm just adding our tarmac. Oh, sweet. Um, which we used for the road on the bit we did whenever it was. So that's this, this bit of tarmac there is drying. But I think we've got the texture that we want. I think that's, yeah, that's. Um, right obviously, we we'll, yeah. So we're now. In, this was last night, so we're now at the stage where we need to think about what colour it's going to be. Like you said to me, you know, you're going to have sections where it had a bit a fresh bit put in here and an older bit there. So I just, you know, need to kind of decide where to go with that. Yeah, I mean, you could even have little puddles or you can have all yeah. sorts of things going yeah. on, can't you? It is, but I think it's it's going to be crucial to get it right because as it stands in that colour, I think it's too dark. I think we need to look at some pictures of modern railway stations and just see what's... But this is, you say modern... Well, it's modern compared to... It's of no we particular have, time, We're going to heritage lines, don't we? Yeah, so. no, I see what you're saying, yeah. Um, All right, look at pictures of... Yeah, you know, do some research on that, I guess. But yeah. It, that looks good. Better than your out-the-packet Hornby stuff, innit? So, well, yeah. It, <clears throat> we're quite, you know, textures and things like that is quite important to what we do. So, um, I think... Um, there's a lot of scope there. We need to decide on a name for this lower station because I was seeing the 3D prints and name boards. <laughs> Actually, why don't we ask people for suggestions of names? Good plan. Let's Good do plan. that. Right, guys, it's down to you. Guys. So guys and guys. <laughs> so you could, you could have uh, us create a name for... No, that's not how that, you said it. You could, all, you could yeah, have us. Just, what are you well, offering, Paul? <laughs> they don't want us. No, you me. don't want that. It's nice, ain't <laughs> it? Yeah. You just, it's your idea. But well, I'm happy just, to, it was so off the cuff, yeah, I got yeah, excited yeah, and blunted. What Bobby's trying to say is, I think, <laughs> let's have a few suggestions of what the lower level station might be, and when I read them out to him in the mornings at work... <laughs> um, over a nice cup of tea. Over a nice cup of tea, we will pick our favourite one and immortalise you forever. That's exactly what I was trying to say. At the lower like level station. my mind. The lower level station to Red Knob End Junction. Um, what, uh, what more... Well, if we only get, like, one suggestion... Well, that, like, it'll just be that, unless it's rubbish. We had a few suggestions by email. <clears throat> Someone uh, sent a yeah. fax. <laughs> 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 oh, look, there's a carrier pigeon there with a name on it. <laughs> Amazing. So, um, yeah. But, that's uh, like giving something back. That is giving something back. That's a good idea. So, guys... Guys, guys. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments any names for you might suggest for the lower level station, mm -hmm. which is a good time, I suppose, to wrap this up, Bobby. Yeah. Um, do you want me? Should we mix it up this week? Yeah, go on, go you do it. Because I it. thought it was something to say as well that we don't say. So obviously we're on okay. Facebook and Instagram yeah. and YouTube, Bluffers to Buffers. Um, please do subscribe, hit the like button. Also, do that jobby where it jumps in your inbox to tell you that we've got a new video. Yeah, notification. But also, because we don't really, you know, you go on Facebook and you see people going, oh, look at my video, look at my videos. We don't really do that. We do it on our own channel. Mm. But all these pages you get. Um, We're not very good at self promotion. No. So, you know, please do tell your pals about us. Even if it's say, don't bother watching that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Save yourself no, some time. Any, if you can share it about, it, we, we would be eternally grateful. Um, we're not that it really matters, but we're you know you kind of watch the subscribers and whatever. Yeah. And we, it's, it's really great that so many I'm, people yeah. of you want to hear us muttering on about this. I think we need to say thank you to a few of the new people that have come on board as well recently because. Yeah. There's a few comments saying I've just found your page and we've watched the video and stuff. So thanks for that, guys, because that keeps us thinking, oh, we should, we should carry on doing this. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. So yeah, on that note, uh, I'm going to sign off, and you can finish it off, probably like. So it's normally me that finish it off. So thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for watching, folks. Um, and we shall see you in the next edition. I've been Bob, and I've been Ben, and that's it. Right then, bye then. Bye. Thanks. I've got tacos tonight. Have you? Yeah. I don't know what I've got. <laughs> <laughs>